So you guys, welcome to a better way now. In today's Elemental Pro Tips and Tricks, I'm going to show you how to create a moving image illusion on scroll effect without the use of any line of CSS code. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create this wonderful effect whereby the image looks like it is moving when you scroll. As you can see, you can use this effect to spice up things on your website or your project. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So in our Elementor editing scroll, we're going to make use of this um, container structure here, which we use in creating our heading, changing color effect on scroll in our previous video. So if you've not seen that video, link in the description of this video here on YouTube, where you can access the other video and then you see how we're able to achieve this wonderful effect. Okay. So now this is where we're going to add our image movement effect. So to do so, what we're going to do here, we'll just come over here to our widget area and drag an image and drop it here. Okay, for this image, we're going to come over here and let's select this image here. And then let's come over here. Now for this image, we're going to come over to the style option. And we're going to reduce the, the, the image width a little bit. So we're going to set it to 95%. Okay, then we'll now head over to the advanced area. On the advanced settings, what we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here to the position and we're going to set the image position to absolute. Okay, then we'll come over to the Z index and we're going to set the Z index to 5. All right. So the next thing we're going to do here for the horizontal offset, we're going to set the horizontal offset value to 13 pixel. And then for the vertical offset, we're going to set it to 45. Okay, so we now have uh, our image position like so. Okay, so the next thing now we're going to do is we're going to add our moving illusion on scroll. So to do so, we're going to come over here, still on this image, we're going to come down here to our motion effect. Now for the motion effect, we're going to toggle the scrolling effect. And then for the horizontal scroll, we're just going to come over here. Now for the direction, we're going to leave the direction to the left. And for the speed, we're going to change the speed to 1. Now here is where the trick is. And for the viewport, we're going to leave the viewport as is. Okay. So now this is where the trick comes in. What we're going to do here is after setting this motion effect here, we're going to duplicate this image here and we're going to change the horizontal scroll speed at uh, different intervals. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to duplicate this image here. Now for this new image here, we'll go to the advanced settings, come over to the motion effect and for the horizontal scroll here, we're going to change the speed from 1 to 1.5. We're going to do this again a couple of times. And then we're going to change the speed at all time. So we're going to change it from 1.5 to 2. We'll duplicate it again. And then we're going to come over here to the advanced settings and then the motion effect, horizontal screw, change it to 2.5. And we're going to come over here and let's duplicate it again for the last time. And this time around, we'll come over to the horizontal effect and the same thing, change it to 3. Okay, so we are done with our effects our uh, edit so what we're gonna do now is just gonna check our effect and see how it works on our website okay so now let's come over here and let's scroll you can see when you scroll this is what you get yes yeah, see this looks wonderful you can use this effect to spice up your website or your project and then make things attractive without any line of css code we've been able to achieve this wonderful effect that we can use to spice this up on our website and so we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new, remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And also feel free to drop your comments, whatever you're confused, you have questions or suggestions, and I'll do well to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you on our next video. Bye-bye.